couple of days ago, the wrestling world, particularly the WWE slash WWF wrestling world, lost not one, but two former superstars, former tag team champions. One of them is a Hall of Famer, and one of them is a son of a Hall of Famer. Nikolai Volkov, look, <clears throat> you talk about a character, that was a character. He came to the ring, Russian flag, singing the Russian national anthem. He got people to hate him. That was in the beginning. And the thing about it is, he teamed up with the Iron Sheik, got the tag team championships. He wasn't a bad wrestler. He, I mean, damn, he's literally a Russian bear. I think that's where they got Zangief from, Capcom. Yeah. Anyway, watching the guy go in the ring, he could go, he could wrestle. He could do a lot of things, and he wasn't afraid to talk on the mic. He wasn't afraid to get in someone's face. He wasn't afraid to get it done. He was a he was a, he was good, especially for that time, the golden age, the golden era of wrestling, which was basically the eighties. Grandmaster Sexe, Brian Lawler, Brian Christopher. Too much to too cool. Well, of course, he was there before that and challenging for the WWF Light Heavyweight Championship and he couldn't get it. And they were really trying to separate the fact that he was the son of Jerry Lawler back then. But anyway, talk about another good wrestler. And man, he I mean, he committed suicide. And I'm just like, wow, dude. Now, of course, I am out of the loop. I don't know what was going on with him. I don't know, but man, I just can't imagine me doing that I, I just can't but that's my opinions and I'm just shoving that out of the way two good wrestlers gone on the same freaking day and I'm just man watching I mean grew up watching one and being a stable wrestling fan and watching the other and I was entertained by both of them they both did their jobs very well and they could actually do things in the ring so man that's just my condolences to their families. I mean, no one likes to see this, no one likes to read this, no one likes to really even talk about it, but it's just, it's sad. It's very sad. And for me as a wrestling fan, yes, it was very sad to hear of these passings because again, watching them, you actually kind of feel that they are a part of your life to a certain degree. That, that's just the way you feel about certain people when you watch or hear or even go see their shows or even see them in person or whatever. You, you, you grow up and you're like, wow, that was actually a part of my life. So once again, rest in peace to both of you. One Hall of Famer, one son of a Hall of Famer. Former tag team champions, two good entertainers in the WWE slash WWF. Thank you. You both will be missed. Thank you.